Oh, so the bad news is I got auto-balanced away from my friends, and I'm gonna die. I guess the silver lining is it gives me an excuse to play spy so I can hunt them. Normally during the year we just re when some of us get autoed, but since this is contract season, I don't want people to lose their progress. All right, getting chased. And nobody ever goes to the alternate spawn. Good, nobody heard that. Matador! No! Uh, I was like I was able to butter knife him. I always thought it was kind of overpowered that Spy can see enemy health. Because you can't really pick your fights. Alright, good timing. So whenever I'm testing somebody's ears by decloaking near them, I like to have a backup plan. So decloaking when they're on a ramp like this gives me a little flexibility because if they turn around, I can at least use the altitude to try and get out. Hey, there we go. Still got a little bit of the muscle memory. It's kind of hard to believe that I used to main this class. We have the control point. That's not a bad spot to decloak, except it's so close to their spawn. Oh, I gotta be careful. That's why the kunai is so good, though. That overheal lets me escape a lot of these, even when they know I'm in the area. Half tempted to just drop my disguise so they can't see me with the spawning wall hacks. Or I could disguise as my own teammates, that would also prevent them from seeing me. And I gotta keep hoovering up these metal packs because I'm running straight invis, not cloak and dagger just in case. But I'm doing pretty good on health, so I'm gonna keep lurking around this area. Oh, he heard! And it's Natasha, so I can't run. The one advantage I have playing Spy in Halloween is the maps are darker, and there's a lot more ambient sound with all the moaning and ghosts and trains and spells I feel like I can kind of be a bit more aggressive with decloaking just because it's harder to hear and see me All right, don't follow my teammates yeah that guy heard me once before but it's not consistent so I don't think his headphones are that good Alright, and I normally I would go for the heavy because he's slower, but I feel like I need to target my friends because it's funnier. And I need to be a little careful about that train. When this map first came out, that train just got me all the time. Oh no! If the friendly pyro hadn't shown up, I would have gotten that stab. Of course, there's no guarantee that he would have stayed facing forward, either. Oh, my teammates keep popping up at the worst times! See, in that time, having teammates on the other side of the glass helped me. That is kind of the advantage of Cloak and Dagger. You can just wait till the opportunity is perfect. But I don't like how passive that is. And I don't like being in this corner either. I should I should get away from my teammates and just keep flanking. Alright, we're holding pretty well. It'd be nice to get a trick stab though. I guess I got the one against the pyro earlier. But with all this elevation, it'd be nice to get a stair stab or a drop stab. Oh, here's a target. Let's see if he comes this way. Oh, I screwed up the sidestab and the matador. That is the nice thing about the kunai, though. If you have to do a cleanup stab against a pyro, it will extinguish you. Unfortunately, you still have to be able to trick stab. Uh, I wanted to get the pumpkin kill credit there. All right, well, hey, that was a pretty fun round. I always, uh, honestly, I'd forgotten how fun it is to play spy. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see more spy videos from me and maybe I can give it a try. 
Happy Halloween, and I'll see you in the next one.